Adam Peters' future. There has been a report that he is interviewing with Carolina, and there's also been some speculation that the Broncos would like to interview him as well. Uh, I think most of us assume that he's kind of the brains in the Niners' front office personnel department. Like you, John Lynch is good at a lot of things, but he doesn't have that background. He's never been a scout. Kyle Shanahan has a lot of good opinions about players too, but never been a scout. This is their scout of Martin, scouts. I think him and Martin Mayhew, Mayhew as well. Yeah. And, and, you know, Lynch said that Mayhew's been getting, has a request for an interview as well. So my question to you is let's assume one or both, definitely Peters, maybe Mayhew as well leaves. Where do you think Peters will go? A. Two, what effect do you think that'll have on the 49ers? I think, so I think he's going to go to Carolina. I, I remember reading like, I think it was reported in December when they fired uh, Marty Herney after so long that uh, Matt Rule had a lot of ties to Adam Peters. He wanted to bring in a guy that he knows and he can trust. UCLA. And, right. So Adam Peters would make a lot of sense. And Matt Rule seems the kind of guy, like the kind of guy who, if he wants that guy, he gets that guy. So if he wants Adam Peters, I have a feeling that he has a good chance of getting Adam Peters. And no, I don't think it's going to be the end of the 49ers brain trust and s- stuff like that. The way I've always read the 49ers as an organization is that while the personnel guys do scouting, while all of them give the, I think the coaches are the ones who give their final opinions. They sit down with the players and they really study who they want and within their scheme. And they try to find those kind of, those kinds of players and put them in the correct position to be successful. So I think that the 49ers will continue that route, whether they have Adam Peters or whether they don't, I'm assuming there's more smart guys within their organization. And the other thing is, I actually think that the guy, there's a guy that they could hire to replace Adam Peters. He does a similar thing as Adam Peters right now. And if Adam Peters goes, they can still do the promotion for John Lynch to president and bring in a GM. And that's Jeff Ireland of the New Orleans Saints. He was with the Miami Dolphins from 2008 to 2014. Him, He went with Bill Parcells and they drafted Jake Long, brought in Cameron Wake, and they built Remember something with Tony Sperano that made the playoffs for a year and then it kind of fell apart? Well, since he's joined the Saints in 2015, he's totally changed their drafting. They had Mickey Loomis for how many years and they were not drafting particularly well. And since he's come there, they had the 2017 draft, which was insane. The 2018 draft, it's quite good. The 2019 draft has been fruitful. So they've been drafting extremely well since he's been there. And I think if they're looking for a personnel guy that drafts well, I, I, he for some whatever reason, he's not getting a lot of buzz in terms of the GM openings and stuff. But the Niners, maybe that's a route that they wanted to go. That's something I think would be prudent. But otherwise, I don't think that – I think people put too much – I think too many times people – when I say people, I mean fans – put stock into a name that they hear kind of doing and people giving credit to that name and then all of a sudden associating all credit to that name. I mean, people did it with the New England Patriots all the time. Like, Bob Quinn. Oh, Bob Quinn. Bob Quinn. Bob, oh, Patriots losing Bob Quinn. What's going to happen? It's fine. Now Nick Casario is the new Bob Quinn, right? True, and they true. do it with Patriots coordinators all the time. I think besides Josh McDaniels, I don't think any of the Patriots and Brian Flores, I don't think any of them are truly brilliant. Maybe Brian Dable. We'll see. But um, I think people associate with that. I think as long as Kyle Shanahan is within the organi- the Niners organization, they're going to continue to run the same way they've run. And parts are going to be replaceable and people are going to leave. And I think Kyle Shanahan is the type of coach. I think he's built the type of culture. And I think he's developed the kind of coaches and personnel guys where they can continue seamlessly with their strategy. I'm not going to write off the loss of Peters, though. Here's the way I I could be wrong, but here's the way I read the breakdown of responsibility in the front office. I think you're right that the coaches have final, they, they do have the final say, that they ultimately pick these players and they do a lot of the scouting as well. Um, but they are not scouts. They don't have time to do this year round. And I think they really do depend on Peters in particular to be like, yo, watch these 10 dudes. You watched, I, I looked through like 400 players, right. here's 10, and you decide right. which ones you like. That's important right. because I don't right. know if John right. Lynch can def- necessarily do that. Or if I don't know that anyone right. else in the organization can necessarily perform that function, which is necessary for these coaches. Sure, sure. That that's real, right? But I, I'm just assuming that they've got to have somebody else in the works, somebody who's no, capable of doing that job. Imagine. They they gotta yeah. have that. He he can't be imagine. so replaceable. Otherwise, Denver would have never let him go. If he right. was that good at doing that specific job, I think that they could have somebody else in the works. And I think Martin Mayhew was pretty good. I he wasn't he had his ups and downs in Detroit, but which general manager has had success in Detroit? 
And they got Lakin Tomlinson, who started the last three years because of Martin Mayhew. So I think Martin Mayhew is fine, and maybe he's also pretty good at doing that job. Right, and let's not act like the Niners have this impeccable draft history either, and that Adam Peters is like the the the, the greatest personnel man of all time. I mean, we can go through the, the draft butts they've had the last few years. So yeah, he's he's good, but I think I'm with you, man. He's not necessarily the end all. Yeah, he should be able to move on. Right, we've beat the conversation to death, right? In spite of all these draft blunders, free agent signing blunders, they have been passable and they've created this fantastic roster and culture because the coaches just develop everybody that comes in their system for a couple of years and they get them playing good enough for a short amount of time to be successful and win games. So this is a coach-driven team and it yeah. starts with Kyle Shanahan and it's going to be the same way as long as he's there.